Welcome back to the House of Cards, everybody. Hope you're having a great day, a great start to your week because today is the Monday Mailbag. We're going to do it here. Not too big of one, but we definitely got some cards to go through. Definitely got some cool stuff from eBay, from auction houses, the usual kind of mixed bag of goodies. So we're going to jump right into that in a second. But of course, before we do, like always, hit the subscribe button if you have not yet. Like the video, comment, do all those things. I'd love to hear feedback on what we picked up and uh, your thoughts. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right. Part Avion. I think it's from Canada. Let me see what we got from our friends up north. UFC Shocker. Uh, just kind of put it raw in there, like just like this, huh? There's no cardboard. <laughs> I guess they used the double top loader method, so that's better than nothing. There we go. So you can see there, it's number nine out of 10. So that tells you it's a gold and it's a Sean O'Malley. So kind of picking up Sean O'Malley. I know he's got this monster fight coming up with uh, Peter Yan, and I'm honestly a little bit worried for him. Um, not gonna lie, but I think there's gonna be a really big hype run up to the fight with O'Malley if he wins. Big if, if he wins, I think his prices are gonna jump a lot because that's gonna be a big test for him to beat someone of uh, Jan's skill set. So uh, yeah, but if he loses, <laughs> It's gonna be trouble. Um, so there you go, that's the, the Gold uh, Shimmer uh, 2022 Select. So it's kind of cool him doing his trademark uh, basketball shot after he wins. Clean auto, everything checked out really nice on this card. So kind of starting a little bit of a Gold Auto O'Malley run. I got a few other, two other ones now. So I think I got one from each year. Oh, actually I don't have, I don't have anything from 2019, but there really wasn't much as far as sets go, so. Uh, look into that but anyways doesn't matter here you go O'Malley Gold Shimmer Auto really cool card right. here we go here we go it's easy up in there <laughs> that's a good day for that all right DC sports cards Solid, solid stuff, usually from them. Uh, what is this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what do we have here? So this is a nice gold optic out of, um, I think it's out of Chronicles, right? Let me see. Yeah, out of Chronicles, number 10 out of 10. So, book in there. Michael Chandler, so a nice auto, rated rookie, gold. Checks a lot of boxes, definitely like Chandler. He's a stud. So, yeah, I wanted to grab this just to kind of, you know, keep keep the train rolling on him. I, got, I had a nice Prism auto out of 35 that I uh, sold recently in a PSA 10. This one doesn't look like it'll 10, your top to bottom is off, like most of these optics have centering issues, but um, it's not terrible left to right, definitely a smidge heavier on the left side, but yeah, overall not bad, um, as long as the surface checks out and everything else is clean, you know, this could easily, you know, maybe get a nine or something, but we'll have to, you know, spend a little time investigating. Um, but yeah, no, I'm gonna definitely uh, probably get this graded. I don't know, I might go to SGC on this one just because, I think um, this might be a, a a tougher PSA grade versus an SGC grade where I can probably get a, uh, hopefully like a nine SGC and then get the 10 auto. So it's a nice clean, uh, clean copy there. But yeah, gold, you know, everyone loves that. Chandler's a stud. He's gonna be fighting Poirier soon. So that should be a nice, uh, a nice moment for him. So, so yeah, there you go. Chandler gold optic. All right. Stick it back in here for now. Right, we got some more. Got a lot of UFC coming in recently, so we might be seeing a little bit of that here. Yep. <laughs> All right, so this guy, uh, 
Alexandre uh, Pantoja. I watched him fight, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago. My goodness, this guy's a beast. Um, his cards are super duper cheap, so I decided to just jump on uh, eBay and see what the best you know, uh, card with that was looked decent on eBay was available. And I found the orange, which I like the oranges a lot. They're just nice cards around 99. So you're not, you know, you're not too high. You're not too low. You're kind of a nice low enough number that you're not, uh, you know, getting like out of 299 or something, but you're, you know, not going to be, people aren't asking crazy money for them if they're like out of, you know, 10 or out of, you know, whatever. So this one looked really good. The centering looks great. Top to bottom, left to right. You can see the triangles here. If the triangles are the same size, then you can automatically tell right away. Left to right is perfect. Um, so yeah, this could could be a nice gradable copy. You know, corners, 2021 Prism, those bottom corners are always tough because there are the red, so they show whitening like really easy, but it looks really clean. So could be a gradable copy. Again, he doesn't carry a ton of value, but I'm kind of, you know, banking on him having uh, some future potential. So maybe I'll get it graded early and that way and get it back and then have it ready to go when, you know, he pops off. So we'll see. We shall see. All right. A couple bigger guys down here. Let me crack this off. No, I go this way. This is a. If it is what I think it is, I gotta be careful because I don't wanna hit anything on the inside. This is something I'm super excited about. If it's what I think it is. I want to be careful because I think it's a box of wax. I don't want to like accidentally, you know, cut the the wrapper or something, which would basically devalue it. There we go. Okay, good. He had it well packed, so nothing to worry about. There we go. She we got here. It's gonna be something fun. If it's what I think it is. So if you're watching my channel for a while, you know I've been bullish on this stuff for a while now. I've graded and sold a handful of these cards. Um, but I've kind of turned my attention to this specific set because, you know, like most things, the true value is held usually in the very first edition of something and so i wanted to uh you know maybe get some of this and stash it away i'm also a big fan so it helps because i really do enjoy this uh franchise so jesus christ <laughs> sorry guys this is like the bubble wrap like gauntlet here oh my gosh we're almost there, I promise. There's like tape and randomness everywhere. There we go. We're in, we're in. Oh, I got bubble wrap for the last minute of a little while. There we go, beautiful condition. There it is. So this is the, this is the one you want. This is the season one, series one or whatever. Stranger Things box. So you get one autograph or sketch card per box, um, which is awesome. And then you also get all the uh, parallels and stuff like that too in here. So super cool. This came out in 2018. So it's, uh, you know, a few years old. So 24 packs, seven cards per pack. Uh, packs with a special insert may contain only three cards so they have like memorabilia and stuff too but super dope set i'm currently trying to complete the um season one uh auto run which i haven't had much success but <laughs> i'm slowly pecking away at it you get really it gets really expensive when you start getting into the main characters like l and um you know so you're gonna just have to uh understand that those cost a lot but um yeah it's 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 been a fun fun thing there's not a ton of them out there so there's you know not like you can just jump on ebay and just buy them all at once if you wanted to there you know you'll find them kind of spotty here and there but if 
for the most part you know a lot of the big cards are way overpriced like i think someone has like one of her cards on there for like five thousand dollars you know ungraded i'm like get get out of here but anyways cool uh, i'm probably gonna keep this you know just kind of tuck it away with my sealed wax and you know just kind of let it hang out for a while so you know the season four um set from uh zero cools gonna be dropping soon I, and i think you know i have this feeling everyone's gonna start looking back at the top stuff seeing what's out there and then you know series one's gonna become probably pretty sought after here soon so anyway some ground to grab a box here i want to get at least one more and then uh you know i'll be content for the time being but i'm gonna keep looking for the auto so if any of you guys have any series season one autos you want to sell i'm buying all right let's do the old PWCC shuffle. Mm -hmm. Got a few nice ones this week. Haven't got, didn't go quite as heavy as the week before. That was a pretty big week when I bought all those Julios. But, uh, Definitely a few cool things in here that I wanted to grab. Alright, we're almost there. There we go. The double, the double bubble. kind of plow through them like we usually do. <clears throat> All right, first card. Oh, this is an O'Neill Cruz um, card. I don't have any O'Neill Cruz cards, but he's got a nice little buzz going. He's playing really good. So I grabbed this 10 auto. This is CSG, which I love to uh, cross over. So there you go, it's this is Bowman first on card. Got this for a super good deal. The subgrades are pretty good. You get the nine on the edges, so I'm not really sure what that is for specifically, but the other subgrades are all check out. I don't see any like chipping on the edges, so you know sometimes they get a little nitpicky with that, which is fine with me, because I'll probably end up cracking this and sending it either to a PSA or BGS. But um, but yeah, Ono Cruz, you know, getting on the pirates right now, making a lot of noise. So I think he's an interesting prospect. Um, to kind of keep an eye on for the future and it got this for a killer deal comparatively to what his you know other uh graded copies go for all right so here's a nice one i've been wanting a uh jordan alvarez for a minute um i'll probably still continue to look for other ones but this one popped up and i thought it was a good deal it's in a psa case um but this is the uh 2020 bowman chrome so his rookie card logo on there um, nice uh, yellow refractor, so you got that numbering out of 75. Um, nice on-card auto, super clean. So they gave us a nine, which, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at the left or right centering, it's slightly off, not by, actually not too bad. So yeah, not really sure. But um, yeah, nice Jordan rookie numbered on-card auto, kind of checks all those boxes. I know it's not like the, the Topps Chrome or the Bowman First, but it's still a Bowman Chrome rookie card. And, you know, as long as you got the RC logo on there, that's what you want. So I uh, got this for a good deal, I thought. So pretty happy with that. All right, next. This one is definitely gonna be a crack out. Um, I think I've been having success lately with BGS cracks and um, I'm always looking for these kind of bigger cards in um you know bgs slab so this is the uh out of 85 which is the blue uh fast break um disco so got that in a bgs 9 so i had the zion in this and i actually sold it recently at a show so i saw this edwards and it just looked beautiful with the color match and everything i just think that's a gorgeous looking card so subgrades nine five nine five nine nine so 
um, centering is perfect more or less you know your edges are good your corners are a nine so I'll have to look if there's anything weird there and then your surface is a nine so again hopefully there's no like dimples or anything like that hard to tell a BGS because they have the plastic inner sleeve so it really kind of clouds the the, the look of the uh, you know of the surface but I can just look at the corners I don't see any like whitening or any soft corner so that's good I'm not really sure where the corners got a nine but Overall, I think it's something that's definitely a, a crack out and submit to PSA to see if we can maximize the value on this because, you know, nice, nice number there out of, out of 85. So, oh, no, it's 81 out of 85, right? Yeah, I thought it was a, I thought that was zero one out of 85. Oh, it's a Jersey match too, but no, it's not. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right, moving on. Uh, here's a Griffey. This is just something I needed for my, my Griffey, uh, uh, collection trying to get all the 1989 and 1990 Griffies. Um, this one is the uh, Score Masters, which is another kind of tricky one to find. They don't pop up graded very often, so I saw this one, got it for a good price. PSA 10, so again, older PSA case, but that's fine with me. Definitely hard to uh, get high grades on these nowadays. I don't know if they just kind of throttle back like junk wax stuff, but um, junk wax is actually one of the hardest stuff to get like 10s on, so. You would think it'd be easier, but it's not. All right, here's one more Griff. This is one I needed also. Also again, an older PSA slab, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is the, uh, the classic Bowman with him uh, kneeling down. I think, you know, it's funny because they have this, you know, kind of fast mill auto on there, but I feel like his auto actually looks better than what auto they have there, so I'm not even sure why that looks weird like that. But yep, another great Griff here. The Bowman, a little bit tall, tall cards. Classic card for sure. Reminds me of my childhood. All right, here's a little cheap jaw that I picked up just because it was so darn cheap. I just couldn't not pick it up. So got this little basic uh, jaw mosaic, mosaic, mosaic. <laughs> I always hate how they call it a mosaic and it's not a mosaic. It's really stupid, but. Anyways, uh, nice looking card though. It's, you know, it looks good in the case. People, you know, like to pick up jaws that are, you know, lower price points, but are still nice cards. So I'd like to have stuff like that available. All right, one more little pile here. So this Vlad here definitely is probably gonna be a crack. Um, this is the um, Topps Chrome Rookie Auto. Oh gosh, sorry. My OCD doesn't allow me to not take it off. Uh, out of 4.99, so I believe that's just the base refractor. Yeah. So there you have it. 9.5. 9.5 on the gray, 10 on the auto. So a pretty solid copy. Um, the auto got a 10, huh? <laughs> it's, it's a little bit streaky right through there, but yeah. They're not as picky as you see as like PSA and those guys are, so. I don't know, we'll have to, I'll have to determine if this is worth cracking or not, if I should just leave it and let it let it ride. But nice Vlad there, numbered card, so definitely happy to pick that up. I like Vlad, he's having a great season too. Not as much home runs, but just, you know, nice consistent, consistent uh, play right now. Good, good uh, hit streaks going and stuff like that. All right, so here's a nice Brady. This is numbered out of 399 you can see there um, again SGC so possible crack and resub we'll have to just do a little through the slab inspection of it but um, I thought it was a nice they have the, the refractor in blue and in red I mean the red's great because it goes with the jersey and the little red you know highlights of the Patriots but it also kind of makes him pop off more when it's blue he kind of like washes into it which you know it's not terrible but um, so I got a nine so I'm not exactly sure why um, the centering looks clean. I don't really know about top to bottom because that one, I, I just don't, there's no indicator. So I'd have to look at a, a 10 to kind of get an idea. But if it's not the centering, it doesn't look like there's a surface issue. Yeah, I don't know if there's a corner issue I can't see, but it looks pretty darn good to me. So anyways, um, even in the PSA 9, this would probably be a little bit more appealing. So I might go for it and just send it in a PSA and see what we can get. But yeah, nice uh, early 2006 Topps Finest Brady. So I love anything from like 2010 and before. Um, get all his nice like Topps Chrome and 
Bowman Chromes and Finest and all that stuff. So cool stuff. All right, here's a nice um, vintage piece for my PC. Um, this is a nice Maryland uh, card out of the Dutch Gum Company, which they did tons of these uh, back in the days. So again, hard to know like much about it because they don't put much info. So you have to go off little indicators, which they, they do have the 20th Century Fox. So I'm assuming that was a license requirement to use Maryland's imagery that they have to put the 20th Century Fox set up on there. But yeah, it's a 2.5, which I mean, it looks really good for a 2.5. Maybe there's like a, a crease or something. I don't know. But I mean, just centering. I mean, look at that left to right is pretty spot on. Top to bottom looks pretty good. S coloring is really pretty. So yeah, there's probably a couple little like minor creases in it but I mean that's a gorgeous card the other Maryland's I have are black and white so it's just nice to have a colored version so you get kind of the true Maryland you know platinum blonde sort of experience there so yeah real beautiful 2.5 definitely gonna look nice in the non-sports showcase all right two left um this one is this kind of a nice one I picked up I'm thinking about World Cup I do like Kevin De Bruyne. I've been a collector of his for a while. So I grabbed this. Um, you can see the auto's got a 10. So this is actually a dual um, auto of De Bruyne and uh, Wesley Song. So kind of a cool card. Got the Belgium connection there. Belgium's always a, a, a player for World Cup. So I, you know, I don't think this is a bad pickup for World with World Cup coming up. This numbered out of 50. Um, National Treasures, you know, dual auto, popular stuff. Great subgrades. I mean, the, the corners and the surface got an 8.5, which is kind of expected for um, thick cards, but, you know, centering and edges got nine, so that's good. So just a nice looking card overall. 8.5 is definitely respectable for a uh, thick National Treasures card. So, yeah, that's cool. A little, a little De Bruyne. So I'm sure that'll be a, a good seller once Soccer World Cup action starts popping off. And last but certainly not least, as you know, I'm a huge Julio collector. So I got this um, Julio. This is the orange Bowman first. Orange Shimmer, I should say. It's a nine, which not great, but it's definitely a beautiful card numbered out of 25. So one of the lower printed copies you can get. I think you got the red and what's... No, oh, what's the... The one on one, I forget, are they super factors? Anyways, doesn't matter. But um, there you have it. So another Julio to add to the to the collection. I got the orange. I mean, I w the true orange would be nice, but I'll take the shimmer as a as a <laughs> as a second uh, second place to the true orange. But you know, a lot of collectors like the true colors. But I think with Julio, you're just happy to have anything that's low numbered and you know Bowman first. So pick this up for a, a fairly fairly good price in my opinion so there you go all right guys we did it that is a wrap thank you again for watching joining us here at the house of cards good times hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead hope you guys pick up some cool new new cards and i will see you uh next week oh yeah don't forget subscribe like comment all the things all right guys take it easy great week talk soon peace